Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm talking about Mel Gibson's latest World, World War II drama based around the pacifist, conscientious objector Desmond Dost. It's called Hacksaw Ridge. Man, uh, this has been a long-awaited return for Mel Gibson. We have not seen a lot from him in the last few years. He's been gone for about 10 years, let's say. I know he's had a few roles here and there, but mostly he's been gone, especially from the director's chair, which is where he's at. For uh, Hacksaw Ridge, you don't see him on the screen at all. I know he's done. He was also getting a lot of praise for the job that that the acting that he did in the movie, uh, an actual performing a role that he had in Bloodfather. I have yet to see that, but I've heard very very good things. But I was very anticipating the release of Hacksaw Ridge because I had heard so much buzz around the movie. And the, again, Gibson making his return, it's a pretty big deal. And uh, it's been getting all kinds of pos positive uh, positive notes from all the insiders around the industry. However. This story has been wanting, they, people have been wanting to make this movie for a long time. However, it just, uh, it was in what they call development hell for a long, for many, many years because uh, Desmond Doss, the guy that it's about, didn't really want it to be made. He was very specific, didn't, just never liked any of the pitches that he heard and he just said, no, I don't need, I don't need to have my thing told, have my story told. What, who Desmond Doss was, he was an army medic in World War II, if you haven't heard this already, and he was a conscientious objector. What's that mean? Well, he was a, he was a very devout Seventh-day Adventist, which meant, and he was very, uh, he, he had convictions in his life, and he held very true to them, and one of those was that he did not want to take a life in World War II. He wanted to help save lives with being a medic, of course. And so, um, he uh, he had tried to go through army training without uh, without refusing to take up a weapon, and that's really what this movie's about. It's about uh, his his uh, going through some hardship, going through the boot camp process and everything, and being ridiculed by some of his fellow recruits and uh, and other things as well as he's uh, trying to overcome and try to say, hey, I'm just trying to I'm trying to follow through with what I believe, and then and he doesn't like war, but then they're like, but dude, you're you're trying to join a war that you don't want to fight in. But it's it's a very interesting story, and and it's a true story too. The um, and let me I gotta tell you guys this this is by far I, I would say walking out of Hacksaw Ridge I was stunned I I really had to reflect on it for a very long time because it was so moving it was uh, it was hands down the best best war movie I've seen since probably Saving Private Ryan. You could someone could probably argue that it's better than Saving Private Ryan, but I'm not going to make that judgment call today. But still, this is it's action World War II uh, battle scenes are some of the best that I've ever seen. It's Mel Gibson strongly directs this movie from start to finish. He's especially good towards the end, almost universal acclaim. I haven't heard anybody uh, knock the battle sequences. It's it's so well done. I can't even put it, most of it into words. So a lot of it is it's uh, it's definitely war as hell, and very terrifying scenes, and a lot of uh, it's very graphic. So it's uh, it doesn't hold anything back, but it is brilliantly choreographed and so well put together. It they'll have you. They had me at the edge of my seat. Had some. I mean, some people want to cover their eyes. It's it's going to make you kind of squirm at some parts. It's just unbelievable and un deniably good those, all those battle sequences some people say that some of them are comic booky I thought I didn't find that I think it, they were all just just great the you can't um, the first part of the movie some people kind of some other critics I've seen have kind of played it off as being hokum I didn't find that at all I think it to painted a very good portrait of this guy Desmond Doss and his life and shows how he meets his wife played by Teresa Palmer who is fantastic in the movie I didn't know anything I've never seen her in, a, in a, any of the roles she's had previous a lot of smaller roles I and a lot of more independent uh, independent films but this uh, this movie I, I really enjoyed her character she brought a lot of spark um, to the role of Doss's wife, you've got uh, his father, played by Hugo Weaving, who was a World War One veteran, and didn't want to see his son his son go to war. And I tell you what, I mean, Hugo Weaving really brought it to this movie. I thought I was so in awe of his uh, of his performance here. Some people are knocking his accent. I got to be honest with you, I didn't find I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't uh, I didn't find it to be that bad at all. I thought it was again, it was almost bone chilling his performance that he gives. In, uh, in a lot of the scenes that he's in, and he has to bring it, and it's uh, it's one of the best Hugo Hugo Weaving uh, movies that I've seen or roles that I've seen him have. Is usually it's always uh, after I thought about it, it's like man, all I ever see him and all I know him for are these blockbusters, whether it be the voice of Megatron or Lord Elrond from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, or uh, just so many others. You just ne I've never seen him in a in a smaller 
and then you got The Matrix, of course, but those are, again, huge blockbuster movies. You just don't really see them much in uh, more uh, in more of these high intense dramas here. But uh, I really, so I, yeah, he if he if it weren't for Hugo Weaving would probably be the star of the movie if it weren't for the star Andrew Garfield, guys. This guy, I mean. I'd be shocked if he doesn't get an Oscar nomination. He's got to be in the talk for it. There's no way you can't deny. He carries this movie on the weight of his back and almost, and literally at some points, he carries uh, in the scenes where Doss carries multiple soldiers back and to this, uh, to what Hacksaw Ridge is, which is a cliff, and he has to carry them. He carries multiple, multiple soldiers back and forth and back and forth, and it's so... Uh, and that's just part of it. That was uh, such an amazing sequence there. But this guy, how he performs when he's trying... Just the scene, I, I have to tell you, I was... I mean, I had to fight back. I had to, I had tears welling up in my eyes just because... Just when we reached the halfway point in the movie. Just when he finally proves to the army or he manages to... He, he has to prove the army that he is willing to go to war. And he has to to get them to agree to send him and not and allow him not to fight with a weapon and it's that just making him seeing him go through that process was so filled with emotion and it's it it really tugs at the heart because yeah, and this guy's this guy is just a real hero and the movie really portrays that so well as i said we have other roles here uh in the actual in the army you've got Vince Vaughn who probably steals the show as he uh, he plays the drill sergeant and uh, then he, he goes into the battle as well, and um, he really brings a lot of appropriate humor. I mean, he they enter they put him in, and uh, they uh, he uh, he brings a lot of a uh, lot of humor to the movie, and and the right and the right type of humor too. It's not not too crazy. It's not too unrealistic. It's actually pretty. It's it's very good. It fits it fits the script very well. I thought Sam Worthington was very good. He played the captain of the uh, of the. Uh, um, battalion or troop that uh, Garfield is part of or Doss is part of. Then you've also got a good role for Luke Bracey. He was very fun in this movie and uh, Rachel Griffiths plays his mom. She was great too. Just an overall wonderful cast and a great movie. I can't, uh, I, really guys, I can't come up with anything bad about it. I plan on seeing the movie again and it's um, it's one of the best films of the year. No doubt about it. All the buzz lived up to it. Mel Gibson, welcome back, sir. You've given us a, a true treasure of a film. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I'll have more reviews here very, very soon, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.